guys in this video I'll be showing you how to repair a computer a desktop power supply like this one I already got it here disassembled it was more or less like this I just pulled the bolts out and opened it and what I, what happened with this power supply was that I had the computer on suddenly it shut off and smoke started coming out of the the desktop I've opened the desktop to check and I realized that the smoke was coming out from the power supply which was this one. As long as I keep the power cable connected to power, even if this switch here is off, it starts burning and uh, throwing smoke out. So after checking a little bit I realized that I got here a component which is damaged see so I guess that's the problem easy thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull one of those out from an older power supply I got there and replace it and see if I'm good to go so I'm gonna remove here four screws and pull the board out Pull the board out. Let's see if I can manage to fix this one. Okay. And right now it's it's easier to see the damaged component. Can you see it? There. So I'm gonna replace that one. Let me just... Alright, I got here an old power supply and that component in this old one seems to be pretty much okay see I smashed this because <laughs> these power supplies keep on breaking they are like the cheapest ones and they keep on breaking and uh, I got pissed off and smashed this one and then the other one broke as well but whatever so I'm just going to just going to pull this one out and see if I can reuse it for the other board let me check desolder it from here okay I got the component And uh, well, it's not brand new, but it might work or not. We'll see. I'm off camera again, so is the same shit. Doesn't matter. Okay. So I got the component. I'm gonna pull the old one out of the power supply. Alright. Alright, I've managed to pull it out 105k to 150 volts and uh, there you go, 
the good one and the broken one. See how it is? I might ha have other problem here that makes this burn. So, as I'm not sure, I'm gonna replace it and see if it works. If not, Okay, I got it in place, just gonna apply some solder to that. Just gonna apply some solder to that. Alright, I guess I got the thing in place, I'm gonna trim the legs, they are a bit too long. I'm gonna place the thing here where back where it was. Place it there. I'm gonna connect power to it. And uh, plug it to the wall. See what happens. Okay, nothing burned, got my pliers, nothing burned, so what I'm gonna do is, only, only having it this way with power plugged, it would burn, I've replaced the part, it's not burning, so that's a positive thing, but now what I'm gonna do to make sure the power supply works and I got power coming out of it I'm gonna put a jumper between green and black wires here on the connector I'm gonna jump the green and black wire together and uh, as you can see fan started working so I guess Shut it off. Shuts off. Turn it on. Fan starts working. Well, this way I guess we got power. Let me check with my multimeter. So I'm gonna put this into voltage to 20 volts okay so I'm gonna turn this to you so that you can see and uh, I've assembled the thing back to the board I got it plugged to the wall with this connector and right now I'm gonna turn it on it starts working and testing like a hard disk connector black on black if I go to red one it gives me 5.27 if I go to the yellow one it gives me 11.85 let me check on this one here orange gives me 3.4 yellow gives me 11.8 and red gives me 5.26 so I guess this one is fixed so I'm gonna assemble the thing back together and I'm gonna install it to the computer and see if it runs okay just replacement of one of these which was broken shut it off okay
funds are working and I got it running. See? I got it running. Everything's working fine. Check it out. Hmm?